Hello everybody and welcome to a new episode of Unity 2D Tutorials for Beginners. In this section we're talking about the interaction system. In the previous episode we built a simple item script in which we did the pickup and, and examine in a simplest debug statement. In here we're gonna deal with the pickup item. Let's go. Pickup item is basically an item that we can pick up and uh, put it in our inventory and uh, whether we can use it by equip it, uh, examine or even consume it. And in a general idea, pick up in, uh, like picking up items is directly linked to an inventory system in which we haven't done yet but we're gonna cover it in the next section after the interaction system. So in here what we're gonna do is we're gonna worry about picking up the item and not worry about what we're gonna do with the item after we pick it up because that part will be covered by the inventory system. So in the simplest manners we're gonna make we have this thing from our previous episode what we're gonna do is we're gonna be able, we're gonna create a, a script that allows us to pick it, pick it up and store it in a dynamic list and of course when you pick something up it disappears so let's start with this if we go to the item script that we've built we have already defined the interaction type and whatever we do with it right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to do something in here we're gonna call we're gonna say something here add the object to the picked up or we're gonna call like picked up items list and then delete the object simple as that so for us we, we want to add the list in the in the base of the interaction system here and of course uh, this list is only used to uh, e explain how to pick up items but in the inventory system we're gonna have it embedded inside the inventory system but right now we're gonna have to add it in here like list of picked items let's go call it public uh, public list and we're gonna call we are gonna have it give it the game object data type and we're gonna call it picked items and uh, I want to do something in here I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and go add a header here detection parameters I'm gonna have something here others because this one is temporarily for now and it's gonna be uh, removed in the inventory system so we're gonna add it specified as other and by default we're gonna make it when I keep we're gonna initiate it with an empty picked up object of course you can add this in here you can have it in a start in a wake it's all up to you but what this does it makes sure that it's initiated so what we're gonna do in here we have the picked up object assigned and initiated and we're gonna have to add uh, wait, wait this, I, I like to add all unity objects all unity methods on top and the rest down so we're gonna create a simple method called pick up item and then we're gonna have to have and ah, that's to be void, of course. Keep forgetting this. We're gonna add an input of game object. I'm gonna call it item. Okay. What it's gonna do is, it's gonna go. It's gonna just append whatever we have there and append this item to it. That's it. And for the sake of um, debug, we made this public so we can see it in the inspector. So we have this done. We're going to go to the item itself and then make sure to implement these two things. So first of all, we have to add this. One way of accessing external scripts is by either directly ref referencing it by adding here, like, you know, public uh, interaction system and then in the inspect drag and dropping. Or you can have, you can, you can create uh, a singleton which, in which we'll, we'll discuss in the different episodes. But we're going to use a simple way, which is not that difficult. Or complicated we can call a script we can call a method uh, sorry we can call something and uh, named find object of type so what this does it it looks in the scene for an object that has this specific type of course this is fine for a small to medium uh, scenes but if you have a really complex object it's better to have what's called um, a singleton 
So what we're going to do is we're going to have to create this. We're going to call this, and then open this curly stuff, and write interaction system. So with this, we are accessing the interaction system. We're going to call the method that we created. It's called pick up item. Yep, and we're going to have to pass this actual game object. And what I mean by this, like this is the item script, and this item script is inside a specific game object, which which is this one, right? So we're going to have to go with game object. So we did this. The second thing we have to do is we have to delete it. And the easiest way to deleting stuff is destroy game object. So this one destroys the game object. So and one good advice whenever you're dealing with destroying an object, make sure it's at the end of your script. Because if you destroy it before doing stuff, like if you destroy this in here, Whatever is underneath is not going to get called. So make sure this is going to be at the end of your calling methods. So what's going to happen here is we're going to add it and we're going to the list and then we're going to destroy the object itself. Let's do a test. What I'm going to do is I'm going to convert this one into a pickup also and call it bush, okay? And call this one weird like a what is, what, is, what is this even? Crank up. Okay, let's call it lever. Okay, so we've got ourselves two pickup objects. Let's start. Before we do anything, I want to put this in here, and we can see ourselves in the interaction systems. In the other, we've got the picked up objects. Right now, it's zero because we picked up nothing. So if you come here, click E, we could we got this picked up. So right now, what happened is. I copied the thing, I referenced the object in here, but then I deleted it. So <clears throat> we got this missing object in here. Why this is happening is because we're putting a reference in it inside the object and then we're deleting the whole thing. What we can do in here is instead of referencing the object itself, we can reference its name or its anything. But to have this like running seamlessly, to not actually avoid the issue, let's do this thing. What we can do in here, instead of destroying the object, we're going to go disable the object. So what this does, it can make up. So set active. Uh, you have to go game object that's set active, false. So what this does, it, it actually, let me delete this stuff. It makes this game object inactive. And as I said, we're not going to be using this thing with anything, so we're just going to disable it. It's as simple as let me show you. It's as simple as di making this thing disabled. That's it. So if you go here, and then before we click it, let's open this part and let's see the over here. So we got ourselves a lever here, which is saved in here, which is cool. If we go more, pick up this part, we got ourselves bush and lever. That's it. So with this simple pickup mechanics, uh, we have a proper input action that can detect an object before we click that button, and then pick up that object, and then reference it in somewhere, in some list, in which we're, it's actually obsolete right now, but it actually just shows us that we actually picked up the object. And I hope you guys and girls like this, and then learned something from it. If you did, smash that like and subscribe button, and then hit me with some questions if you have, or feedback. Also join our Discord channel in the description for more uh, updates and uh, getting help with the community. Otherwise, um, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.